What's up, Big Gaucho? This is your boy, Big Gaucho Todd, and we're back with another video. Uh, now, I've got right here a nice giant box of uh, some J's, and this is uh, Big Ways of Investing with Big Gauchos. And I bet you guys are wondering, what do I got in here? So, I got the Jordan 11 Lowe's Concord Breads. Now, this is a personal pair for me, but I personally think it's going to be a great sleeper. Major, major sleeper. I'm very excited to open them with you guys. Still in the box, you know, looking good, looking fresh. And obviously, you know, your boy got it off of the good old sneakers app. Y'all can see, took the dub. Luckily for me that uh, they did a restock on them with the Jordan 5s, Fire Reds. And uh, your boy came in a little late, not gonna lie. But I saw that they had my size, so you know, I had a copy for the one time. Didn't even question myself, pulled trick right away, and uh, took the dub, so. Now let's get into the statistics of them. So retail for this one right here is about $185 plus tax so looking at around $200. Resale, that's where it gets a little funny. So it's reselling for around my size at least for $222. So only $20 over retail. Obviously if you go to StockX or any other companies with the commission. So you're basically selling for around even money or maybe for a little bit of a loss. Now I said in my last video, check that up up here that buy shoes that are interesting to you and that's you personally like. And I, I honestly just love these shoes, I just love what they did with it. And uh, even if they don't go up and resell, I personally love them, I feel like they're worth the buy. And obviously I'm gonna keep them on the wall, I might even rock them, we'll see how it goes. But I feel like this would be a major sleeper because over time, I feel like the price will just go up. Just like my uh, Day of the Dead uh, Air Force Ones, bottom of 70 bucks, now they're over, I think probably $150 right now. So I feel like in time, this will definitely go up. Definitely a great sleeper. It might be a good buy, you know, just to hold or just to, you know, rock. So we are dealing with the Jordan 11. Obviously, Jordan 11s are one of the most iconic shoes. Even though it is a low, I would definitely love to have a high. Hopefully, they make one. Nike, if you're listening, sponsor us and make 11 Conquer Bread High. You know, I love that. But I feel like over time, the shoe would go up. I've seen retail stores selling them for way over retail. And uh, reselling, obviously, not as not towards the high end, but definitely something to keep an eye on over over at least the next year. All right, now let's get into this unboxing. All right, guys, let's do it. Or, in other words, just do it. Solid. a major box because I'm a big guy, size 14, 13 shoes, and I keep listening. So I some kicks. It's really hard for your boy to find some shoes that fit my size. Alright, let's see what we are dealing with. Alright, So we got, you know, your nice Air Jordan box. Something nice, simple, and uh, very, very clean. Alright, I don't need that anymore. You got that black paper. Oh, these are clean. I know it's a hit or miss for some people. They like it, the mix, the the mix of the bread and the Concord. Some of them just some people just hate it. You know, they just feel like they should be completely opposite. Completely uh, uh, separated, but. I think they turned out very nicely. Whew, such a clean pair of shoes. Ah. Nice patent leather. You know, very standard. Jordan Concord. You got the Red 23 Jumpman. Oh, I love these bottoms. They're so cool. Just a super clean shoe. You got better. Red jump man on the toe. All the way around the carbon fiber. Just an overall very pretty, aesthetically pleasing shoe. Can't go wrong with these bad boys. Huh. 
<laughs> now, obviously, these don't sell for as much as I'd expect them to be because they are 11 loves. But I feel like it's overall just what they are and what's the history that goes within them. You know, the, the Concords and the Breads. It just brings a new twist to the shoe game. You know, you see these and you look at both of them. You see both of them. Very, it was very well done how they intertwined both of these shoes with the red, red bottoms on the red 23, the red Jumpman, and uh, as well as the Concords. You got your black hand leather with your white top, and obviously this white uh, sole can go be the white for the Reds or the Concord. So I feel like they did a very good job of intertwining both of the shoes. You got your carbon fiber on it as well. Just a very slick pair. Definitely would love to rock these. I might just buy a second pair because they're so cheap right now and just hold, have one to rock and one to stock. But we'll see how it goes. I, I personally love these shoes and uh, definitely can't wait to put these on the wall or on my feet. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, all right, big gauchos, you know, this is a pretty, pretty standard video, pretty quick, you know, straight to the point. I personally love these. I am very happy for what uh, Jordan and Nike did when they created this pair. I hope they make a high. That would definitely be a major cop and a definitely a major resale. Um, yeah, we'll see what other heat comes through and hopefully I'll take a couple more W's. Uh, Kobe 5 Protos are coming out this week and next week, so hopefully I can take a couple W's there and make a couple banger videos for y'all. But with that being said, please like and subscribe. We'd love the support. We're not liable for any lost games, but we're directly liable for all major games. So yeah, definitely look into shoes. Could be a good idea to get into, make some quick money, get into some raffles. You know, the shoe game is a great game. I personally love it. Big out to Austin, big out to David, shout out to you guys. They're also getting into it, looking into what other ways we can invest our money into making money. But yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you for everything, guys. And uh, catch you on the next video. Big out show. Out. Peace.